What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the CFL Podcast. And we got to talk about something big. Because I've been hearing a few rumblings, right? And this could be this could be potential. This is potential big news. We don't we don't know for certain. But I just found it very interesting and I got to share this with you. So what we're going to talk about, it pertains to a certain five-star receiver who could be coming to Jackson State. <clears throat> and he goes by the name of Desmond Demas, former five-star receiver from Texas A&M, who is now in the transfer portal. Uh, now, keep in mind, Desmond, when I say former five-star, I truly mean not that long ago. He was a freshman last season for Texas A&M and at the transfer portal. The reason why we're talking about Desmond to Jackson State is because the Go JSU Tigers football page, right, on, on Instagram, they re they reposted a video uh, from Coach Prime's uh, account on Instagram where Coach Prime said, you know, Spring is almost over. And guess what? Some of y'all ain't rocking steady. Some of y'all a little discouraged. Some of y'all a little disappointed. Some of y'all just don't fit. Hey, I understand. <laughs> and you about to get in that portal. Guess what, baby? I got some shelter for you. I got some shelter for you. But I tell you what now, when you come, smart, tough, fast, disciplined with character. Smart, tough, fast, disciplined with character. But baby, I got shelter for you. Come on to JSU and join D. I love. Right. We have refuge. We have shelter. We have a spot for those of you who who didn't uh who didn't like your, your situation at your your old school. We have a spot for you here. And when you look in the comment section, right there at the top, we see Mr. Desmond Demas with a ninja emoji. Now, you may think I'm reaching when I say that, right? But please keep in mind, when I made that Jackson State video a while back and how that recruiting class, the 2022 recruiting class, could be historical. And when I pointed out how Travis Hunter had a really good shot and could shock the world by going to Jackson State because I, he was making TikToks with Shador on campus and he seemed to really enjoy his time. Y'all looked at me like I was crazy. Y'all said I was reaching and there was no way that was going to happen. And now we know what happened, right? The seemed to be impossible became possible. <clears throat> so there's no guarantee that Desmond will come to Jackson State. But I find that very interesting. I don't know what the ninja means. I don't. I don't. But for that video, for him to comment under that video, you know, how could you not? How could you not get these ideas that Justin, De Justin, um, Desmond will be at Jackson State? How, how do you not think about that connection? Because see, if this happens... If this happens, nobody is. First of all, Jack, I'll I'll put Jackson State going undefeated. That's just me. I like at that point, yeah. I I think you gotta run through the swag. I think you have to run through the swag. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Cause at this point, at that point, it'll be way too much weapons for you to stop. Like nobody's gonna have enough DBs. I'm sorry. Way too much weapons. Just way too talented of a roster. If that kid, they are already way too talented. But if that kid decides to come to Jackson State, it's over with. If Desmond decides to join Jackson State with Quay Davis, uh, with Malachi Wideman, with Kevin Coleman, Travis being on offense, Travante Rucker, bro, it's it's gonna be too much. And I still miss some receivers. So just to give you a little bit of background on why, on what he did, what Desmond did while he was at Texas A&M, he put up 15 receptions, 235 yards and a touchdown. And he averaged, I believe, 15 yards a catch. Now, Texas A&M is loaded with talent. That, not saying that's why he left, because clearly that kid was getting meaningful playing time in his freshman year. Um... 
However, he just decided the place was for him. But he did not, it's important to point out that he did not play in the last two games of last season because he had an injury that he had to go under the knife for. That kind of ended his season right there. But he's back and he's healthy now and he's ready to go. Um, that's, that's just a little bit of a background on him and what he can bring to the table. When you look at Desmond, he's athletic. He's very athletic, very dynamic of a receiver. You look at his build and you love it, right? Because you can see this kid is cut. Like he's cut. You feel me? Like he looks, there's nothing wrong with his frame. He can add on weight if he want to, but he he's college ready right now as far as that size goes. Um, I'm excited, but I, I'm, I'm gonna hold it down because we, we don't know what's gonna happen. Right, you know, this is this is this is just me being excited and speculating uh, because it was brought to my attention. Um, but guys, if this happens, if this happens, it's gonna be big, man. Also, uh, there are a few more players who are actually reaching out on Instagram in the comment section from the FBS level, might I add, or and FCS as a matter of fact, uh, that want to join Jackson State. Jackson State is not done. They, they really have their pick of the litter. They really have their pick of the litter, uh, which is something a lot of schools can't say. So we'll just have to wait, see how this thing plays out. But just know there's a possibility that uh, that five-star receiver, another five-star, could be joining the Jackson State roster. And I'm going to leave it at that. There's more. There's a lot more. Uh, but I'm going to leave it at that for right now. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I'm going to let y'all ponder that. Uh, but with that being said, tonight at 7 o'clock, Trey Glimp, my boy Trey Glimp, the UAPB kicker, signee, he will be on the show. All right, we're going to talk a little bit. We're going to chat it up. Also, this Sunday, this Sunday, um, I, I forget the time off my head, so of course I'll put the flyer up for y'all to see. But this Sunday, me and Donald Turley, that's right, the 20, the mid-20-year-old freshman, right like he's in his mid-20s you know he went to the he went to the uh the service as far as the marines and you know now he's at jackson state college paid for and everything and he's playing ball yeah he's coming through i know y'all want to know a, a little bit more about donald turley he gonna be on the show all right so sunday i'll put that picture up for y'all to see he's gonna be there uh but with that being said it looks like i used up most of my lunch break <laughs> uh breaking this news so hey I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for the support. Um, and I'm out.